Okay, welcome back guys to another video from CXC Matuta. All right, so this time we are looking at um, the May 2019 CXC CSEC Maths Pass paper. And we are looking at question 7A. All right, so question 7A from the May 2019 CXC CSEC Maths Pass paper. All right, so um, we're given the 7A, so the, the end term, uh, T sub n of a sequence is given by T sub n is equal to 3n squared minus 2. Show that the first term of the sequence is 1. All right, that's number 1. Show that the first term of the sequence is 1. So all you have to do now to replace our n here with 1. All right, so T sub 1 is equal to 3 times 1 squared minus 2. All right. So anyway, there's an N here, I'm going to replace it with 1. So because we're trying to find the first term, all right, so the first term is T sub 1. 1 means the first term. All right, so this is now equal to um, 3 times 1 square. So 1 square is 1, and 1 multiplied by 3 gives me 3 minus 2. That's equal to 1. So that's how we show that the first term of the sequence is 1. All right? Because what we get here is our answer being one. So therefore, that's how we show that. All right, okay. Um, let's move on to part two. What is the third term of the sequence? All right, so this is a formula here. This is a formula here for the nth term. So regardless of what number um, n takes on, of course, n has to be some positive integer, all right? So, uh, so we have um, the formula here that represents the nth term. So if we want to find the first term, we just put in n equal to 1. The second term, n equal to 2. If we want to find the third term, it means that n equal to 3. All right, so the third term, which is um, t sub 3, that's going to equal to 3 multiplied by n square, uh, sorry, 3 square. So we replace this n here with 3 because we're trying to find the third term, and third term means Three, all right. So um, n is three. So we place all our n here with three. So we have uh, three multiplied by three squared minus two. All right. And so three squared is nine. All right. So three multiplied by nine minus two. All right. So that's three times nine is twenty-seven minus two. Let's give us twenty-five. All right. So the answer is twenty-five for the third term. All right. So t sub three is equal to is equal to 25 all right that's your answer the third term t sub 3 is equal to 25 that's your answer okay uh, let's move on to number 3 Uh, given that t sub n is equal to 145, what is the value of n? So remember, going back to our formula here, that gives us the value for any term in the sequence, t sub n is equal to 3n squared uh, minus 2. All right? So... In this question that we are given um, that um, t sub n is equal to 45, equal to 145, what is the value of n? All right, so this is t sub n. t sub n is equal to 3n squared minus 2, and we are, we are told that this is now equal to 145. Find the value of n, all right? So what we have now is 3n squared minus 2 is equal to 145. All right, so we can add two to both sides. All right, so we have three n square is equal to one forty five plus two. Three n square is equal to one forty seven. All right, remember we're trying to solve for n here. All right, solve for the value of n. So divide both sides by three. All right, just cancel this. So now we have n square is equal to one forty seven divided by three. Let me use my calculator. One forty seven divided by three is going to give me 
49, all right? So if I take the square root of both sides, then n is equal to plus or minus the square root of 49, which is um, the square root of 49, sorry, which is gonna give, give us seven. Right. So it can be plus or minus seven. All right, so um, of course, n has to be, as I said before, n has to be a positive integer. All right, so we're not gonna consider um, negative seven all right, we're going to consider the positive value of n, which is positive 7. All right, so the solution here is n is equal to 7 is the answer. All right. Okay, so that's it for question 7a from the May 2019 CXC CSET Maths past paper. And of course, we'll continue um, with the past paper with different videos. All right. All right, so that's it for this video. Remember to um, share, like, subscribe to the video and also leave a comment all right, um, on what you did on the exam. Um, did you get the same answer? Did you get something else different? How did you approach it and so forth? All right, so see you in the next video.